He is known for being a Swiss author and dramatist who was a proponent of epic theater. He reflected the recent experiences of World War II in his plays. Recognized for his avant-garde dramas, philosophical crime novels, and macabre satire, his name is Friedrich Dürrenmatt. In the realm of literature, one name stands out, Friedrich Dürrenmatt, a Swiss author and dramatist whose impact on the literary world is profound. Born on January 5, 1921, Dürrenmatt's work was heavily influenced by his experiences during World War II. He was a proponent of epic theater, a style that reflected the societal and political upheavals of the time. Dürrenmatt's repertoire was diverse, ranging from avant-garde dramas to philosophical crime novels and macabre satire. His unique style and thought-provoking narratives captivated audiences and critics alike. One notable aspect of his career was his involvement with the Grupp Olten, a group of left-wing Swiss writers who gathered regularly at a restaurant in the city of Olten. This community allowed Dürrenmatt to engage with like-minded individuals, sharing ideas and perspectives that further enriched his literary works. Among his literary achievements, a few notable works stand out. One of them is, The Visit, a play that explores themes of justice, morality, and the corrupting power of money. Another significant contribution is his philosophical crime novel, The Judge and His Hangman, which delves into the complexities of crime and punishment. These works, along with many others, have solidified Dürrenmatt's status as a literary legend. Friedrich Dürrenmatt's life and works are a testament to the power of literature to reflect and comment on the world we live in. His exploration of societal issues and his unique storytelling techniques have left an indelible mark on the literary landscape. Even today, his works continue to be studied, appreciated, and celebrated, reminding us of the profound significance of literature in shaping our understanding of the human experience. In his exploration of epic theater, Friedrich Dürrenmatt, like Bertolt Brecht, became known as one of its most original theorists. At the age of 26, his first play, It Is Written, caused quite a stir when it premiered in April 1947. The story revolves around a battle between a sensation-craving cynic and a religious fanatic who takes scripture literally, all while their city is under siege. The controversial nature of the play led to fights and protests among the audience on opening night. Following this, Dürrenmatt contributed to the anti-Nazi cabaret Kornikon in Zurich, writing sketches and segments between 1948 and 1949. One notable piece from this period is the short play, Der Geretet, a grotesque portrayal of the era. However, it was his play, Romulus the Great, that brought him his first major success. Set during the last days of the Roman Empire in AD 476, the play explores the downfall orchestrated by its last emperor, Romulus. Another renowned work of Dürrenmatt is, The Visit, a fusion of comedy and tragedy. The story centers around a wealthy woman who offers her hometown a fortune if they execute the man who jilted her years ago. This satirical drama captures the complexities of human nature and societal dynamics. Additionally, his play, The Physicists, delves into the moral responsibilities of science and its potential to bring about dangerous changes to the world. Dürrenmatt's literary contributions also extended to radio plays, some of which have been published in English. These include, Hercules in the Aegean Stables, Incident at Twilight, and, The Mission of the Vega. Towards the end of his career, Dürrenmatt released two collections of unfinished ideas, stories, and philosophical thoughts titled, Labyrinth, and, Turnbazu Babel. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.